Research Design Lab. Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain and demonstrate how to use an analog soil moisture sensor from researchdesignlab.com. Let's see the kit contains. The kit here has two PCBs. This here will be the sensor board and this PCB will act as the electrodes that go into the soil whose moisture level has to be determined. And these are the two female jumper cables that connect your sensor board to the electrodes. Basically, the sensor PCB measures the conductivity between the electrodes and this conductivity level could be read by the analog pin present on the sensor board. Before I start interfacing the sensor, let me show you the headers present on the board. We only have three headers on this board other than the electrode headers. As you can see, there is nothing complicated on this board. We just have a plus 5 volt header followed by a ground and an A out or an analog out header. Let us read this analog variations into an Arduino Uno board. First, connect your Arduino board to your computer. Then, open the product page. There you can find an Arduino code. Let's use the Arduino LCD code to work on this. Copy the code. Paste it in your Arduino software. Then, compile it to check for any errors. And then upload the code into your Arduino board. Once the uploading has been successful, disconnect the Arduino Uno from the computer, mount an LCD shield to check whether the code I used is working correctly or no. Let me now power on this board. The code is working fine. However, I do not have a separate headers to which I can interface my soil moisture sensor. So I'll have to use these screw shields which I need to place between the Arduino Uno and the LCD shield. Let me now mount these screw connector shields on Arduino. While mounting this screw shield, make sure you place the male headers to its respective female headers of the Arduino. Now let's connect the soil moisture sensor to this screw shield. Connect this red wire to the plus 5 volt header on the sensor board. Black to the ground. Yellow to the analog out on the board. Also, let us connect the electrode PCB to the sensor board with the jumper cables provided in this kit. You can always use a lengthier wire if required. The other end of the connector cables of the sensor board are still free. Let us now connect this to the Arduino screw shield mounted on the Arduino Uno here. The red wire goes to the plus 5 volt of the screw shield. The black wire goes to ground and the yellow wire to A5 of the Arduino board. Since in the coding I have used analog pin A5 as the input pin to read my soil moisture analog voltage. Next you just need to mount your LCD shield on top of this screw shield. Again make sure you are mounting it correctly on respective headers. Once the LCD shield is mounted properly on the screw shield, let us now power on the Arduino board here. I have used this USB power supply. By default, the analog voltage here is zero, so your 10 bit ADC value is also zero. Now, if I place my fingers on the two electrodes, you could see the conductivity or the moisture contents of my hand on the LCD display there. Now I use a more conductive substance as like this metal screwdriver, you could see a larger level of conduction across the electrodes. Here I have used some sand to demonstrate the conduction level which changes when the moisture contents in the sand varies. Now start pouring some water into this cup containing sand and notice the value on the LCD display. Since the conduction across the electrodes increased, the soil moisture value increased as well. Let me show you all this over again with this another cup of sand. I hope with the help of this video, you would understand how this soil moisture works. But please make sure you make the proper connection required and also please note, only the electrode PCB is waterproof, not your soil moisture PCB. So while using water, make sure 
you do not spill the water on your Arduino board or your soil moisture sensor PCB. Thank you for watching. Visit us at researchdesignlab.com.